In this video, I will show you how to use the manual start and workflow testing for SharePoint online start events. The functionality allows you to use the item ID of an existing list item to test or manually start a workflow with a SharePoint online start event. The details of the item are passed and used as a real event to test or start the workflow. To test a workflow with a SharePoint online start event, open a workflow that has this start event. Note, if you want to test a new workflow, you must save your workflow before you can test it. From the designer toolbar, select workflow testing to reveal the workflow testing dialog box. As you can see, the SharePoint site URL and list name fields are populated based on the details defined in the start event configuration. Enter the item ID of the SharePoint online list item you want to use to test the workflow and click the Retrieve Item button. The item that the workflow will run on is displayed and the Start button at the bottom of the screen is enabled. If the item displayed is the item that you would like to test the workflow on, click the Start button to begin the test. Please note that testing a workflow executes the workflow actions as designed and the SharePoint online item will be modified if such actions as update items are used. The workflow testing screen will step through all the actions until the workflow is complete. Manual start. To manually run a workflow that has a SharePoint online start event, select automate from the top navigation bar in Nintex Workflow Cloud and select workflows from the left menu. Find your workflow that has a SharePoint online start event. The event can be new list item, update list item or both. Click on the ellipsis and select manual start. As before, the SharePoint site URL and list name fields are populated based on the details defined in the start event configuration. We have also placed a button called view list next to these fields to conveniently take you to your SharePoint online list. Enter the item ID of the SharePoint online list item you want to use to start the workflow on and click the Retrieve Item button. The item that the workflow will run on is displayed and the Start button at the bottom of the screen is enabled. If the item displayed is the item that you would like to start the workflow on, click the Start button to start the workflow. A confirmation that the workflow started successfully is then displayed. In this video, I showed you how to use the manual start and workflow testing for SharePoint Online Start Events feature in Nintex Workflow Cloud. We found that it is useful for testing SharePoint Online Start Event workflows from Nintex Workflow Cloud without having to create or update items in SharePoint Online. For more information about this feature, please see the Nintex Workflow Cloud help files.